Hi, my name is Tyler Schroeder. I'm the Director of Development here at Surge, and today we're going to talk about why not all code is equal. So a common question we get asked is, what is the value in um, good, high-quality code? The place where it really uh, pays dividends is down the road when you're trying to add new features, uh, when you're trying to extend into different platforms, so say you have a mobile and a web version. Good, high-quality code is what enables you to do those types of things quickly, um, have high-performance applications that um, really make your users happy. So here we're looking at an example of some bad code. Um, you can see that we're bringing in the page and response, so we're tightly coupled to the web component. The database layer that we're looking at here, so the database object is actually defined within the same code base. So we're within the same application right here, which means that if we ever want to share this code with perhaps a, uh, a different model, so maybe a mobile application or a desktop application, we would not be able to do so. So you can see that this is just a, it's an example of code where um, on the surface it might do uh, what it's designed to do, but it's really gonna hurt you in the end as far as extensibility and being able to maintain uh, you know, a high level of flexibility. So what we see here, this is a, an example of some good code. We have a clean separation um, of concerns. So here we have a separate controller that handles our login request. Um, the database logic is contained in its own assembly. Um, so we have a empower.domain assembly here that contains all of the database logic. So if we wanted to, uh, perhaps we were gonna create an integration library, we could just refer to that domain assembly. Um, and the logic itself is encapsulated uh, within uh, the data model, uh, which creates a much better separation of concerns and it makes it much easier to modify this code in the future if we needed to. The cost of bad code, um, and we see it again and again when we um, get these projects that have just, they've spiraled out of control. The real root cause is the code is just not um, up to appropriate quality standards. And it ends up costing companies much more in the end than spending the time upfront to create quality code. I hope that helped shed some light on why not all code is equal and I'd encourage you to give us a call um, see how we can help with your next project.